what's up so um i think that this is gonna be like a new thing that i'm gonna be doing oh i have my mug of tea so that's what i'm gonna be calling this is tea talk so hopefully whenever i post this um or wherever i post this whatever platform i post this on you know you can make yourself some tea and you can sit here and chat about um you know whatever subject i come up with and i'll put like polls and stuff like that for um for you guys to choose as well like subjects to choose and stuff like that but yeah so the topic for today is veganism and melanin okay i had to take a huge sip because there's a lot that goes into melanin and a lot that goes into plants so melanin and plants have a molecule that is like off by just a little bit so the way that plants and like the plants and greens and stuff like that take in sunlight and turn that into oxygen that's how black people take in sunlight the way that they absorb the way that plants absorb like the sun and then turn it into oxygen and that's what gives it gives it its green color that's how black people are too we absorb the sun that's what gives us our color as well and we use that for many cellular processes um for one it helps for us to like be happy because i mean us being children, like basically children of the sun like absorbing the sunlight it makes us happier um we don't suffer from like seasonal depression or even depression like that um so that's one two it's like it's an activator the sun activates us the sun activates us it acts it activates lem lemonin melanin the sun activates melanin so yeah everything that's like laid dormant in your cells um when you get out in the sun it's activated so that's that's why it's good for us to eat well to eat healthy and to eat plants because when we take in plants we take in their information because they synthesize in the sun we synthesize as well in the sun so it's best to eat you know at least try to eat organic um i know it's hard especially in the states to eat organic because um people want to like cross pollinate and like excuse me create gmos and spray fertilizer and that's not healthy for the plant that's giving that plant that information and when we eat that plant we get that information so ge being genetically modified um you know modifying our genes um changing us on a cellular level because i don't know if you guys know that but we change cellular cellularly we're constantly changing all of our cells are constantly dying and reproducing like after seven years we're a whole new person like but that's if you know you're changing things in your life like let's say that this is year one of you being vegan at the end of seven years you will look like a completely different person and not even just that you will be a completely different person mental processes will have changed physical processes will have changed so that's why it's good to you know take in the proper nutrients um for your 
blood type. Now I'm talking about blood type because there are different types of blood types. Um, and not everyone can sustain veganism. Not everyone can sustain veganism. But um, it's a it's a process that you can you can do. Some people like they feel like they can't do it for a long time. Um, but that's like, that's something that can be programmed in your mind. You can program yourself to like, keep going at it. You know what I'm saying? Even if, I don't know, I feel, I feel like some people like, whose blood type is not to be, um, vegan and they do go vegan, they end up going back because like, it's part of their blood. Like they, they like to eat meat or that, that's just how their, um, people, um, evolved but I'm speaking about melanin I know everybody has melanin but those of us that have a higher amount of melanin um, it's more beneficial for us to be vegan um, it's more beneficial for us to eat plants and vegetables and stuff like that fruits and vegetables I'm sorry because um it keeps uh like certain certain things from happening to us and that goes deep like it keeps a lot of things from happening like okay so meat a lot of meat carry karmic energy um like i said you take in information from the food that you eat because your food it, it goes to your stomach right so whatever you put in your stomach goes throughout your body especially to your brain goes to your brain goes to your heart right those are energy points as well so maybe i'm going to talk about chakras as well so let's say that this is i mean it is your solar plexus your stomach is your solar plexus your solar plexus is like the sun once again the sun gives you energy gives you vitality gives you strength, gives you energy, a sense of willpower, stuff like that. So when you're eating, you know, plants and vegetables and eating really healthy, your bowels move regularly, your mind stays clear, you know what I'm saying? And then your heart is like, it's, it's pumping, it's pumping like in a healthy way, if that makes any sense. But when you're eating food that has karma attached to it, so like I said, you know, plants and animals and the things that you eat, they carry their own vibration. So when you're eating an animal that was slaughtered, they were afraid. They were afraid to be slaughtered because, you know, ant plants are not supposed, and plants, animals are not supposed to be held in captivity for one. And for two, um, it's not good to kill. It's not good to kill. You know what I'm saying? So killing an animal and that animal having that fear in its body that's left in its cells so when you eat that animal that wasn't that was killed in like who knows what kind of way it was killed you're taking on the energy of that animal so it, there's just so much that ties into it because like I was gonna talk about fear but that's like a whole like that's a whole nother video that's a whole nother tea talk um but yeah anything attached to that animal you take in um your stomach processes it but meat doesn't even digest meat rots in your stomach and rots in the intestines So anyways, you're walking around with rotting flesh inside of your stomach um, and that energy is transferred all into your body. So it's like you're constantly going through certain things that are kind of like connected to that energy that you have consumed. I'm not saying that like if you eat meat, you're going to get killed, you know what I'm saying? but. Well, not that someone's going to kill you, 
Um, I don't know. I don't know about that actually. Um, but anyway, that that's just something that just goes deep. I don't know. My mind went somewhere somewhere else. But um, it's like like you see people that eat red meat, they get like blood clots and their clogged arteries and shit with their heart, heart attacks, dementia. And th that's old people disease. Like that's over years of con consuming flesh. Um, and just like unhealthy food. But yeah, anyways. Um, I feel like I was going like off point and this tea is like really good. But anyways, yeah, that's the um, the similarities of melanin and plants or chlorophyll in the plants. Um, and that's why I feel like it's important for melanated beings to go back to nature and go back to how we used to be because that was our natural state of being um before we started eating flesh um before we started eating flesh we were eating the flesh of plants the flesh of fruits the flesh of nuts and seeds that's the type of flesh that we should be consuming not the other type of flesh like just try it maybe for like a few days and see how how you feel like document how you you feel mentally document how you feel emotionally because i promise you like you will see a change in your mind your emotions and your body so yeah that concludes this tea talk um I hope I didn't space out too much because I, I do be doing that and I know that I space out a lot but um yeah I love you guys and I will talk to you later